here at CNRL Arena number two at McDonald Island with Charlene Bow from the Ring Ed Association. Not a lot of people know what Ring Ed is, myself included. What is Ring Ed? Well, Doug, uh, Ring Ed actually started in Canada in 1963 in North Bay, Ontario, by the name of a gentleman of Sam Jacks. And he wanted a sport for girls on the ice that didn't, was like hockey, was fast moving, but didn't necessarily want to have to do it with a puck. So he created the game of ringette, and uh, it came to Fort McMurray in about 1984. And I was actually one of the first players to play ringette in Fort McMurray on that team. Uh, a bunch of dads kind of got together and got a bunch of us girls out and got some old McMurray gentlemen's hockey league jersey, the old uh, uh, LA purple and gold colors. They were really nice, let me tell you. And now uh, we started ringette in Fort McMurray. And uh, this year we've got the CRCs coming to Fort McMurray as a kind of a little bit of an accolade for the city. So in 1984, what rank did you start on? This did this not didn't exist. exist. Mac Island was like a little old golf course. So we actually used to play at, uh, it used to be called Beacon Hill Arena back then. It wasn't even Frank Lacroix yet. And they renamed it a few years later. And then uh, we used to practice there on Sunday evenings. And then we used to practice after high school and junior high school and uh, at the Casman, which wasn't the Casman, it was just Thickwood Arena where the Oil Barons played. And we used to play there from about 4.30 to 5.30 before the Oil Barons would play. So. We'd be out there playing yet, and the Ola Barons would be out there looking at us going, what are they doing? You know, they were kind of wondering what we were, uh, what we were playing, and we said, it's ringette. So that's kind of where we started McMurray. And a lot of girls love the sport. A lot of girls love the sport. We have uh, just under 130 players registered this year. We had about the same number last year. So maintaining our numbers, not growing a heck of a lot, but uh, got a lot of young kids in our program. We have uh, we started a cottontail program a couple of years ago to get the, the four, five, and six-year-olds going and get them uh, integrating the sport and hopefully kind of keeping them into it and keep it growing so we've got some older age groups. That is absolutely astounding. The good news is we're going to talk more about the Fort McMurray Ringette Association a little bit later on. Plus, you guys also have a big tournament upcoming right here in Fort McMurray. It's going from Anzac all the way up to Fort McKay. That's right. There's going to be a lot of players, a lot of teams here for that. Mm -hmm. Also, another big event is happening in Edmonton. It's happening on March 14th. It's Crash Ice, the That's Red Bull cool. Downhill Ice Skating. It's going to be ex very exciting. Very exciting. And it's a brotherly, sisterly love that kind of bonds everything. We're going to check that out right here on Shaw.